Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Club by Chandnesh Nore, and today we're gonna review the Noble ROM Note 7 Port 6.0 for the Galaxy S6 Edge SMG 925F. And this ROM also comes for the Galaxy S6. And first of all, I would like to say that the ROM is amazing, and it is a full port of the Note 7 along with the sidebar and all, and it is a little bit deep bloated than before and as you can see it it has the same status bar in the notification bar from the note 7 so we'll just get uh, to the rom now and the features as well so first of all you have the uh, note 7 themed over here and because it is a note 7 port so everything is from the note 7 you have the wipe find right that you have to choose from the installer as well and you have these apps you get the samsung gear and all of these apps are from the note 7 so first of all the biggest change is the status bar and it looks amazing now and it is amazing so uh, you also have the these icons over here and the great thing about this ROM is it notifies you if device is available for uh, screencast that you have with the Samsung so I don't think you can turn that off but it notifies you that it is there and the biggest problem with this ROM is always on display if you turn this on and let's just put the device down and I put the device down and now I'm gonna pick it up and open the device as you can see the colors are inverted somehow it seems inverted so let me just show you that and as you can see it is not right over here so first of all what you have to do to fix this is you have to reset the device and see if you do the soft reboot it doesn't fix this, this problem so what you have to do is hardware reboot. So we're just gonna hardware reboot this device. So as you can see that the colors are uh, back to normal. So you should always turn off the always on display in this ROM. And I think the developer may fix that in the next versions or something and then you have the power saving mode which is amazing you have the mid and let's go into more settings so you have off mode you have mid mode it limits your maximum brightness to 90 percent and changes your resolution to full hd but I, you can customize as well that uh, as you can see i've done that so when you install the strom it comes around over here 90 percent with the full hd display and but i've turn it down to 80% limit maximum brightness to 80% and uh, change the resolution to HD and you also have the max mode which is the ultra processing mode which we used to have and that is just amazing so the battery life is pretty great with these settings if you turn on the power saving mode it saves quite a lot of battery and the edge screen works flawlessly as well you can customize your uh, at screen or from here you can download from Samsung as well so I've customized it on my usage and as you can see the settings are like the Note 7 as well you also have many settings uh, here as well and the one thing you should know is that the blue filter doesn't work so if I turn this on nothing happens so it might get fixed in the next version as well so as you can see nothing happens if I do that and Let's try that once again. As you can see, nothing's happened over. Then you also have the night log and all those settings from the S6 Edge only. And you also have the game, you know, icon which you can turn off the back key and all. Only the home key will work. That you have in the games as well. So that is amazing. So if you go into advanced features you can see that there's game launcher you can avail avail at that so you have the game launcher as well you have games tools so that is amazing as well you have the s pen feature as well so i really don't have a s pen so that won't work and you have the app lock as well so the app lock also gives you a fingerprint scanner option over here and you also have an iris scanner option but if you uh, try to turn on the iris scanner the 
app will just crash then that will not work so you can't use that obviously and you also have the one handed operation which is just uh, you know old features from the phones and you also have the device manager which is amazing as well it comes in very handy uh, you can also have the power saving mode from here as well and you have the storage available you have the ram how much ram is available to you right now you have device security as well and in the lock screen and security you can see that the fingerprint and iris scanners are there as well so i have set up the fingerprint scanner and it is fast as well and we've already covered the device and you also have accessibilities over here you can turn on the voice assistant over here and you can also turn on the flash notifications which is amazing for me as well so you also have the developer options over here let's go into the about device and as you can see that the rom name is noble rom note 7 port the rom version is this the rom date is this and all and you also have the software info over here which is the android version is 6.0.1 so that's that you also have the battery information over here so 83 percent is available right now so the game launcher icon is here now and I'm just gonna agree to that so it is showing the games over here so I really don't play much of a games on the phone so I don't think I'm gonna use it and as you can see the Palex wallpaper is working its technical name is Palex so so the most amazing feature of this ROM is that it somehow supports the Google Assistant and you I think you do need to download some offline language pack to make it work offline so we're just gonna try that uh, and i think i've already downloaded the language pack and we'll just try if the google assistant picks it up okay google okay google play some music let me just try that with the the microphone nearer to my phone Okay Google and it is and it works now let me try and uh, play some music okay Google okay Google play some music so it doesn't appear to do anything okay Google play some music So it, it seems to search this online, I guess, because the Google search app does this like this. So let's try that with uh, by, uh, with internet enabled. So okay, Google, play music. So it again search on the net. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. So I think this doesn't appear to be the offline problem. It appears that uh, I don't have play music and it plays music through play music. So let's try that once again and let's try some other command. Okay, Google. Okay Google, set alarm. Eight thirty AM. Eight thirty AM. Eight o'clock. So it actually works in it is a really nice feature to have so I'm gonna just gonna disable this alarm and this ROM is really great I'm just gonna show you the lock screen so there's nothing special in the lock screen and it's just a normal lock screen so let's get into camera and as you can see it is uh, fast because 
it is fast and it is fast because the s6 camera is fast so you have the pro mode you have the panorama you have the selective focus all these you have in the, the s6 as well but i think the animated gif is the new feature from the note 7 i think so you have that and let's go to the auto mode and you have these filters from the note 7 and the s7 i guess and you also have the beauty mode over here you also have the beauty mode over here you have the beauty face over here and you have a beauty mode over here so uh, that is great as well and you have the selfie camera over there you have the hdr mode if you want to label auto or on all the time you have the flash mode you have the settings over here and you can select video size over here so i always select the 60 fps full hd and that's all that and you also have the video stabilization available you have the motion photo and that's all that and you can also turn on the voice control which is uh, sometimes handy and sometimes not so the whole phone works as the note 7 now and the phone is fast as well as you can see it is working very nicely and it doesn't appear to lag a single bit so that is amazing and I think that's it with the ROM and the last note is the ROM is amazing. I hope that the developer just fixes always on display and the blue filter and that's the only complaint with this ROM I think. And the ROM is amazing for the daily usage. I've been using it for over a week now I think. And it's it's just amazing you know you can it looks beautiful and and all and it works amazingly. and. One note for the uh, Indian Geo users, if you are using the Geo 4G, of course, uh, and most of you may be using the Geo 4G, this ROM does not support Volti, uh, so you have to download the for Geo 4G voice application and make calls through it. And that is another downfall that this ROM has, it removes the Volti support. So for the Geo 4G users, the net works perfectly, there is no problem with it. And I think that's it. Thanks for watching guys.